Right, okay. Time for another death match. Um, XL, sorry, double XL edition. So, who are we going to fight this time? Well, I thought, well, let's settle once and for all who is King of Tunnel Town? By which I mean we've got two tunnels. So, we've got on the one hand the Borough that didn't fare so well um, versus Shaorio. Uh, he likes the tunnel, she likes the tunnel, or is it from Aphrodite? Who knows? It likes the tunnel. Whereas we've also got the other tunnel of the double XL sizes, which is this one, the Sand Kraken. There we go, Sand Kraken. Um, that also is fond of a bit of tunneling. So put them on the canyons, let's see how they do. So just plop, there we go, Kraken down one end, Borrower down at the other, like that. Square them off. So remember the Borrower from the Shaoru fight, there we go, Borrower doing the brutal side. Uh, basically, um, has uh, was it? it's got 45, 45 health. Um, it's uh, defensive three, so that's that's fairly averageish kind of. It's not as many as some, uh, but it summons tentacles. So it's like tentacles all over the place. It's got endurance five, so it can't uh, take more than five from any single hit. It's immune to critical hits, um, and it, it basically has the tentacles at the front, which if you um, enter a space or start their activation anywhere near it, they would do damage, but if the uh, defence is too high, they do nothing. And then it's got this random attack at the end of each turn, so at the start of each turn, which can have it burrow, regenerate, spit out more um, tentacles, who knows, who knows what. So that's the burrower, didn't do so well versus Shaoru, let's see how it'll do versus the Sandkraken. Meanwhile, Sandkraken brutal side. There you go, Sand Crack and Brutal. Um, oh yeah, and of course we've got the tentacles, some brutal tentacles there, because we know we'll need them for when they come out. Sand Kraken, so let's have a look at the Sand Kraken. So Sand Kraken, uh, slightly more hits, it's got 55 hits, defensive force, so it's got a higher defense stat as well. So it should have more durability. Uh, it uh, has endurance free, so it, equally it's the most you can take is free hits, so, so it really has got the, the better endurability. Um, it attacks everything in front of it, with its flailing sort of tentacles, they do, they do their hits, and then you use these little tokens here, which I'll just fan out because I'm using them at random, which are the Sand Kraken Tentacle Mouth tokens. There's 12 here, there's some extra ones if you get some elite abilities which you don't have, but there's 12 there, and they do a variety of different things. Um, and that's mostly what it does, is it, it, it basically attacks everyone in front of it, so it might start clearing out any tentacles that come into play, uh, and it does these sort of attacks that, you know, they, they can go, some of, them, some of them ignore defense, some of them do quite a lot of damage, we'll see what happens as we go. Right, um, so that, that I think is it, uh, what am I going to call it? Um, oh, I'm going to go with the Kraken. I am going to go with the Kraken on this. I don't like the Burrower's chances. I, I think the Kraken's going to pull this one out. So, um, I guess let's get it on, as, as someone pointed out from the old, uh, from the old animation. Right. Uh, so, Sand Kraken's initiative is a Peril Dice, so it is a 5. One thing we should also note is, when placed the burrower also adds peril tentacles to the fight, starting in ambush. So yeah, we need to roll for that as well. So there were six tentacles. Let's get those tentacles out. There we go, six tentacles. Uh, six tentacles all surround the sand kraken. They can, so it looks like we can get four, and then there's just two lurking at the back. Okay, they come in an ambush. So their initiative is it was four, it was five for the sand kraken. So their initiative um, is going to be the same. So we'll, we'll go with the tentacles. We'll go with the tentacles going first. Um, Right, and we all remember is if, they, if we ever clear all the tentacles off, more tentacles come in play. 
Right. So let's go to the tentacles first. Um, they can only just damage the sand kraken. It's got a defense of four there. It's there. And damage is five. Um, and and, and while they ignore defense on a six, we're treating that as a crit. Oh, actually, the sand kraken only has chitin plating. It doesn't have tough. So it merely reduces to two rather than zero. Um, okay. Anyway, so we've got one, two, three, four tentacles that can attack. Uh, three attacks each is 12 dice attacking the sand kraken. Five, 10, 12. So that is one, two sixes. They hit on a four or more, so one. Do three normal hits. Okay, so the normal hits do one each, so that's three hits to the, to the sand kraken. And three for the normal hits. And then those smash ones that we're treating as if they are crits, because pretty much effectively that's what they do. Uh, reduce the defense to two, so that will be three damage each, which is as much as can be done. So that's another six. There we go. Right, now the Sand Kraken attacks. Um, just looking tunneling. Change so it would originally have been targeting the burrower, because that's you know, the one that goes. It changes target on a four or more. No, it does not change target. Okay. So it moves through all other models. To get, uh, well, basically, you know, if we follow the rules, it tries to get as far behind it as it can, which is kind of there. <laughs> we'll have the front of the tentacles actually be the three squares that are the front, because this thing's monstrously large. It's supposed to be two by three. There, there we go. God, no, is it going to balance? Is it going to? It balances. There we go. At which point its only target is the Burra, so it has six hits that will hit on three or more. The uh, the sort of the, the the flailing mouth tentacles from the Burra do nothing because it's got defensive four there. Damage is only two each, so that doesn't really do anything. Uh, it gets six hits. Uh, okay, it says for each hit done to a hero, draw a random Kraken attack marker to determine the effect. Now it doesn't say whether it's draw, resolve, put it back, or just draw, 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 draw. Let's just do draw, 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 because that seems simpler. So the first one, I mean, I don't know what the order is, but let's shuffle them up a bit like that. So let's go this one. This one is a smash. Ignores defense. D6 plus 2 arm damage. So that one does 5 damage. Ignoring defense, so five damage to the borrower. Next one, smash again, does six damage to the borrower. There we go, six damage to the borrower. Uh, next one is bite, peril dice plus two damage against defensive three. So that does six damage, so three. One, two, three. Next one. Let's go for this one. What's this one? This one is another bite. So peril dice plus two. Six again. Another three damage. One, four, are we? Right. Five. What's this one? This one. Oops, I've turned on upside down. This one is spit acid. 2d6 damage, ignoring any armor, then roll d6 for every armor. I've discarded one, was it? So, okay, so 2d6. Is uh, three, so that just bounces off the arm. That wasn't very good acid, was it? Uh, and then the next one, this one is entangle. Ignores defense, no damage. Stays on the on the hero until they move away. Uh, while entangle is minus one defense roll, so we just have minus one defense. And further entangle hits do two peril dice, ignoring defense. Okay, so it's now entangled. 
in the sand kraken's tentacle mouth. Nommy things. Okay, so that's the sand kraken gone. Finally, we get the burrower. The start of its activation, roll 2d6. What's it going to do? 10. Burrow. Retreats back into the ground, remove the model from the board. At the start of its next activation, instead of rolling this chart, roll the random hero and place the burrower back on the board, sent on the hero's space. Any models caught by the burrower are immediately moved to the space adjacent, and heroes move take d6 hits that do 4 damage each. So that's not actually going to hurt the sand kraken when it does that. Um, but it is, I guess, going to get rid of that entangle, which I guess goes back over there. But yeah, the burrower, oops, the burrower has burrowed. And that's where Santa Kraken is. All right, that's it. That's it for the, for the burrower. Uh, start of the next turn. Uh, Peril dice initiative for the Santa Kraken. Three, which is the same as the tentacles. Let's let's give the tentacle the benefit of the doubt again. Let's go with the tentacles. Uh, so they, so I can go there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All gang up. All six can hit the same kraken. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eighteen. Eighteen dice hitting on four or more. Six is reducing. Okay, woof. One, two, three, four, five, six that are at the lower defense value. One, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. So eight that only do one damage. Like that. And then six. Let's think six that do uh, three each. So eighteen. That's, that's fifteen. Puts it on thirty. And that's 18. Puts it on 35. Wow. The tentacles are absolutely taking this one down. Uh, okay. That's the tentacles. Kraken. Does the Kraken... Well, the Kraken will change. Which one's it changed to? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 5. So, the Kraken goes for this one. If you go by the sort of movement rules, it goes there-ish. Once again too many sort of tentacles in the way. Um, right, so its attack area is going to hit those, let's think, so the attack area, the front of it is those two squares, hit, so it then hits there, that box there, and that one, and it's going to hit all of them, let's be honest, it's going to hit all of them. Right. Full combat against each target. Right. Okay, so let's flip those all back down. So it's just going to absolutely chow down on these tentacles. So this one on the foot, my far right, gets six attacks on it. On three or more. Uh, only one hits. Only one hits, which is this one, which is a bite. Peril dice plus two. Seven. Not quite enough to kill it. It does four damage. So that one over there is just hanging on in there. Next one. Six attacks. Uh, four that hits. Oops, just shuffle them in. What's this one? Entangled. And then bit. Uh, so peril plus two, six, eight kills it. Now you need two to kill that tentacle. Put them in, shuffle them up. Next one, six attacks. Uh, four hits. 
bite peril dice plus two six so three three wounds just keep them there for now because i don't think it's going to live through this next one smash ignore defense d6 plus two oh, it's dead isn't it yeah dead kills that tentacle next tentacle six attacks One, two, three, four, five that hit. So put those out, come back in again. One, bite, does paradise plus two, paradise plus two. Does six, so does three. Next one, another bite, does seven. Just probably enough to kill it. So that one is dead. Okay, next tentacle six hits. Uh, every single one hits. So we shuffle those around a bit. How about this one? Here's a bite. Six. So that is another three. How about this one? Tangle. How about this one? Bite. See, dead. Last tentacle. Six attacks. Uh, four hits. So, a good shuffle again. It's a bite. Four, six, that's three. And a smash, which is d6 plus two in one defense. Kills it. I think it's possibly the best result the Sankara can there could have hoped for. It's, it's just left one alive, so it doesn't get any new ones. Um, I think that's probably the way this is going to go, is that the only great route to the burrow has to killing the Sankara can is through the tentacles. I don't think the burrow itself, unless it gets a really good result on its world eater, um, is going to touch the Sankara can. Uh, mind you, it is on 35 out of its 55, so it's taken a battering from those tentacles already. So yeah, now it is going to be the Burrower, uh, which uh, start up its next activation, pops up, doing D6 that do four damage each. Well, they're going to bounce off it, but anyway, Burrower pops up there. There's our Burrower, pushes the Sand Kraken aside. Start its activation does that. Uh, I presume it doesn't do its world eater again because it's just done its start of its activation. So that's it for the borrower. Next turn, let's go with that one tentacle again. Still alive. Three, four, five, six. Can get to there, which is the other side of the sand kraken. Uh, and attacks for three dice. It just looking doesn't look like it's in the eye territory. Uh, so that is one hit, one normal hit, so that's just one, one wound. Shankraken. Uh, I guess we roll to see who it's attacking because uh, its original target from last time round is not there. So one, two, three, the tentacle, four, five, six, the borrower. The borrower. Uh, we go by normal sort of placement rules. It tries to move over there, which puts the tentacle out of range, I think. If we have those are the two at the front, we can go two forward, two either side. So, yeah, the tentacle's out of range. So, it will have a crack at the borrower itself for its six attacks. Uh, which is five hits, so five hits, give those tokens a bit of a shuffle. Token number one is an entangle. Token number two is a smash. So that is d6 plus two. So that is just three. So three wounds, puts it on to 20. That's one, two, it was five, wasn't it? Five, he says. 
two, three, smash again. So seven, endurance kicks in. Five, one, two, three, four, and tangled again. So that I think that does two peril dice. I guess it stays there. Yeah, so two paradise. Uh, it does five because of the endurance. And the last attack is an acid spit. 2d6. Six, so it does three. One, two, three. On to 33 out of 45. Uh, the smashes and then the spit acid go back in, but the entangles will stay there until the burrower does something, which maybe now. It is the Burrow's Go, and it does its World Eater, which is a four. Burrows, so it gets rid of those entangles, they go back in over there for shuffling. It disappears underground. Right, that's that. Next turn, go with the tentacle. Uh, it gets over there. Attacks, three dice, uh, two hits, two normal hits, so two wounds. It's in the Sand Kraken, can't really do anything other than just attack the tentacles, so I guess turns around. How's it go? The tentacles, six attacks. I think this tentacle is doomed. Uh, one, two, three, four, four hits. Shuffle number one is a bite. Uh, bite is peril dice plus two. Is six. Goes through its defense, kills it. Dead tentacle. Start of the next turn, we'll have a whole new set of tentacles. Nothing else on the same I can do. Uh, Borrower's turn pops up, will appear there, pushing the sand kraken once again to the side. Uh, I mean, the borrower's got an opportunity to get at the same Kraken's eyes. That's a special ability if you're staying in the right place. But the borrower, at the moment, hasn't really been attacking. Uh, so that is it for the borrower. Start of the next turn. Uh, no, no, it's not the next turn. The fewer turns you play, roll a d4. So roll dice on a four or more, which it is not. More tentacles play. And play. Uh, so no more tentacles. Uh, we then get the Sand Kraken, who will presumably turn around to smack the Burrower. Six attacks. Ah, dropping my dice again. There we go, I've caught it. Six. Six is, so one, two, three, four hits. Which is a bite. So, Pebble Dice plus two is six, so that is three, one, two, three, and then a tangle, oops, tangle, then a bite, uh, six, seven, eight, less two, six, it can only take five, so endurance kicks in, so it takes five, oh, should take those away for another five, we're way on, we're on. 41 out of 45. Uh, next one is an entangle. So that's two peril dice, and this is the last attack. Is it going to kill it? Six. Which ignores defense, doesn't it? Ignores defense, yeah. Ignores defense, so six. Does five. Uh, which puts it on 46 and dead. So there we go, it was Sand Kraken after all, uh, but it's getting a bit hairy there at the start, wasn't it, with all those tentacles. It's on 38, most of those from the tentacles. Um, so, poor old Borrower hasn't got a win yet, off it goes. Uh, and the winner of, 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 of uh, Tunnel Town, the Borrower Supreme, is the Sand Kraken. So yeah, today's winner, the Sand Kraken.